food for thought. A lot of things can be transmitted through food. We send messages of artistic value as their culinary arts. But what if you used it to actually inspire people to speak up about what's going on inside their heads? Something that's very intangible, but in a tangible medium, food. It's a very complicated task, but it's super easy. It's me saying, hey, what's up? My name is Zach Freeling. In 2013, I lost my brother to suicide. And in 2015, two years later, after that seed had been planted, it actually blossomed into REA's kitchen. A kosher food truck, yes, but simultaneously a, a product between the love for a f- grieving father who wanted to connect and support his son, me, and his passion for cooking and do something to make a difference. And it's funny because despite we had, you know, great success in the beginning, that grief really does weigh on you. And we learned a lot from that. And unfortunately, after my father took his own life in 2017, just as I had concocted a plan to bring it back as a nonprofit, what I call Aria's Kitchen 2.0, which is still running at Vanderbilt's campus. Um, He kind of threw in the towel. Does it still make me sad, upset? Was I angry? I don't really know. All I knew was that I had something more to do. And sure, I was doing it to create an finish what was built and a lot of people say you do it for your dad of course I do I do it for my family but that means I'm doing it for myself because the greatest thing you can do you've lost a loved one for them is to continue to push on and keep fighting and try to make a difference if you can or reach out if you need help. After my mother passed away in 2020, me being the only person remaining in my immediate family, AK3, just like the first, was born. As I made my mom a promise as on my life, my last conversation with her at night. Saying, Mom, your son's going to be happy, healthy, and successful. And, um, we'll have grandkids someday. Next day, she died. And today, All of us have been through so much. But the one thing I want to say is the pain of being on this planet will never outweigh the good that tomorrow has to bring. So keep fighting. I can't promise you it would be easy, but I can only promise you it's 100% worth it. Stay in the kitchen, no matter the heat.